Here's the entire solution. The main elements here are figuring out how to get the elapsed time and how to offset the texture itself. About the only tricky bit is the realization that if you want the texture to move downwards, you add the time to the offset. This has the effect of moving the texture's frame of reference up, which in turn moves the display of the texture down. My solution is actually offsetting the v-value a potentially huge amount as the time increases, but it doesn't matter since the texture repeats. A less efficient solution is this. It's best to avoid creating new objects every frame, such as this vector. Eventually, JavaScript has to perform garbage collection, which can cause your animations to hesitate at intervals. Once I had the basic solution, I started to play with the horizontal offset, too. Giving this offset a slight wobble with a sine wave made it a little more appealing. I also changed the repetition length along the vertical axis by dividing the repeat factor by 3. This gives a more stream-like appearance to the water. It looks a bit like a rushing river or waterfall now. Look in the additional course materials for my snippet of code and try it out yourself. Then try other functions. It's pretty addictive.